What's up guys and welcome back in the shop TV. In the last episode we got the back half of our frame all painted up with an epoxy paint that was kind of an unusual choice to paint a frame with. If you haven't seen that video guys, back up one video and go check it out. So what we were doing is really getting ready to put our gas tank in the back and I did order it and it's actually going to be here today. But before that happens, just a quick video, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here, but I want to get a battery box and install it in the frame because we're going to relocate it to the back to get some traction over the rear wheels. Also, I want to clean up the front of the truck where the engine bay is. The master cylinder is going to be relocated to that spot, so I want to keep it nice and clean. So this is the battery box that I ordered right here. A lot of them come in raw steel. This one was already powder coated black, and it's of a much thicker gauge metal than everything else I've been seeing. So if you guys are interested in this box, there's going to be a link in my description if you want to get one for yourself. Um, I'll do my affiliate link, so I'll get a whole three cents. So if you want to use my link and give me the three cents, I'd be really happy about that. All right, so here is the box in the flesh. I've got just one bolt bolted through my boxing plate there and holding it on the side. There's nothing up here to mount it on, so we're gonna have to make a bracket, or I can just use the existing holes on the bottom, but that would look kind of goofy. So I'm a little bit about symmetry. I've gone this far in this frame. Let's at least do it right and make another bracket for the top. Then once we have that hung and suspended and painted and welded up, we can go ahead and get our bottom holes drilled out and get that bolted in. But then we're not done. I kind of got a neat idea for this. All right, so our bracket height on this side, or our boxing plate, should I say, that we mounted it to, Appears to be about mm, one and three quarter inches. Take a measurement from here. Yeah, about one and three quarter inches. So we're gonna have to make a bracket on this side that's one and three quarter inches, and I think I have a piece of angle iron that we can do that out of. I guess we'll make the total width of our bracket the same width of this ear, which is just a hair over two inches. I have a bracket made here. I have an existing hole in the frame that I'm going to kind of take advantage of. That's where the old cross member was. And I'm going to drill a second hole next to it just so I don't have this spinning. So I got this lined up pretty good. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get a bolt in here just to hold it in position. I'm going to go ahead and line this up straight and drill that other hole. I've got to be real careful with the edge here because the bolt is about a quarter of an inch from the edge and I still have to put that gusset plate right here. So it's gonna be kind of a really thin weld um, where I might have to just not weld it right there in that spot. I don't know, we'll figure it out. There's our second hole. I made a mess of our newly painted frame, but that's all right. Let's hope that it lines up. Which it does. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm gonna take the battery box off temporarily. So I can get some nuts under there and tighten that up. All right, so the box is back on, just kind of hand snug. I'm um, just kind of square the height of this box up right now in comparison to this one I've got. Let's see here. 
looks like just over a half an inch or a bit higher here so let's bring that down a little bit just a little high All right, so I fully welded the outside corner of it and I opted to not weld that spot where the bolt's gonna lay. Everything else is welded up here, but you know, this is plenty strong, just a little tiny gusset, um, especially with it fully welded on this side. It's gonna hold just fine. I just didn't wanna be, I wanna be able to fit that bolt right there and without any problems. All right, so that's fully bolted in. The back and the bottom is painted and the side has a little bit of paint on it. I'm gonna go ahead and Hit up the whole thing now with the bolts and everything with the same appliance epoxy that we used for the frame. All right, so we'll let that tack up a little bit and we'll get our box on. So I've got some hobby sheets here of aluminum diamond plate and um, it's not that thin crap stuff. It's about an eighth of an inch thick. It's pretty sturdy. So I can actually use it what it's meant for, which is like a tread plate. So I have this piece marked out right here and that's where it's gonna go right there. I'm gonna use it for what it's intended for. Slipping batteries in and out of here. We won't mar up the frame rail. It'll look kind of cool. I think it's kind of a neat idea. So I went ahead and cut out a piece that fits that spot and I went and marked and center punched a couple holes. I'll go ahead and take it to the drill press and drill them out. All right, so I got my holes drilled. I've got some flathead bolts here that I'm going to use, but in order to have a nice knot stick up and have a nice finish, um, I'm going to get like a, a countersink bit and see if I can't open these up a little bit just so I can get these to recess and sit flat. Just kind of chamfer them out a little bit. All right, I've got one done. Let's see if it... Yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, I'll do the rest of them. All right, so it's in place. I've got one just kind of loosely in there. And I just stuck this other one in. There's no nut on the back of it. The problem that I'm having is that on the back here, you can see I've got hardly any space to get a wrench in there. So um, what I'm doing is I'm just taking well, a little wrench here and putting some tape on the nut to hold it and then slipping that in there and kind of wiggling around until I find my way and catching these screws. A pain in the ass, but we'll get it. What do you guys think? It looks pretty cool, right? Actually, it looks so good that I'm thinking about putting one right here on this side too. I know, I've had one battery in all my vehicles forever with the exception of a boat that I had. Why do I need two in this truck? I don't know, people do it, but you know, I think one is probably fine. It would just be for looks, I don't, I don't know. Wasting enough money as it is, so. Stick with the one battery, but it would really look cool with two. Whatever. You might notice that the bolts are turned around. You know, got the ones on the bottom facing in and these are facing out. The reason I did it that way is because these two top ones, I have them threaded. When I drilled the hole, I drilled it at, these are half inch bolts. When I drilled these holes out, I drilled them at 31 64th. It's just a hair small. So I actually threaded the bolt into the frame, which is gonna give me a really good chassis ground. So I figured it's just a great point to ground the battery too. Plus whatever grounds I'm gonna have towards the rear of the vehicle can mount right here as well too. So it's just nice to have chassis grounds at the rear of the vehicle that I know are gonna be solid grounds. The other reason I put the bolts in opposite directions like that is because the bottom ones are just really hard to get my hand back there, as you can see, um, to get the bolt to poke through and then put the nut on and get a wrench on it. So it was just easier to put the bolt from this side and then slip a wrench down with a tape trick and catch the nut onto the back of it. So I know some of you guys may be thinking, why would you mount it under the bed so close right there? It's going to be completely inaccessible unless you put an access door. So I might do like a flip up or hinged bed floor that's like on actuators or hinges or something cool like that. But Either way, it's totally accessible from underneath the frame too. So a lot of guys put them under the passenger side steps and they can access it that way. Getting under there is even harder if you don't want to do that. So I figured you can get this just as easily from underneath the frame or if, you, if I do actually do a flip up bed floor, there'll be no problem servicing the battery that way either. It's also right where the step side is. So you have that kind of indentation there where it's a bit easier to get to that part of the vehicle. So um, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem accessing the battery at all in this spot. So our gas tank arrived. We actually did start fabricating and getting ready to install it, but um, that's gonna be another video, guys. I hate to keep you waiting, but I gotta keep you in suspense. Listen, guys, please like if you don't wanna subscribe. I really need to grow this channel. And every time you hit that like button, it really helps us out a lot and it tells YouTube to promote this video. So hook me up, I need the help. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video.
Anyway, what do you guys think of the hidden battery door? What do you guys think of the, anyway, what do you guys think of the under the bat? <laughs>